Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, dear devotees. Welcome. Aap sabka swagat hai, aap sabka vinandan hai. Hare Krishna. So today we'll be covering Srimad Bhagavad Gita, chapter 13. Enjoy the nature, the enjoyer and consciousness. I hope आप लोग ने कल बहुत अच्छी तरह से गीता जयंती मनाई और सब लोगों ने बहुत प्रभु की यू नो भक्ति में लीन रहे एवरीवन वाज एंगेजिंग इन डिवोशनल सर्विस हियरिंग शमनम द मोस्ट पावरफुल ऑफ प्रोसेस इन द एसोसिएशन ऑफ डिवोटीज यू आर डूइंग सो मच कीर्तन सो देयर वाज सो मच हैप्पीनेस ऑल अराउंड द वर्ल्ड सो मच जॉय ऑल अराउंड द वर्ल्ड एंड आई एम श्योर दैट यू फील जुबिलेंट यू फील एनर्जाइज्ड स्पिरिचुअली चार्ज्ड so let's not stop let's continue our momentum so that we can continue to progress together in this congregation chanting hari krishna please join us for jai radha madhav prayers
डिवोटीज वेलकम एवरीवन आप सबका स्वागत है आप सबका अभिनंदन है हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा सो वी हैव many friends who are joining today for this class aaj uh, chapter 13 bhagavad gita ka hai prakriti purush aur chetna chetna so we really appreciate those of you who are joining aap sabhi ka abhinandan hai shraddha venkat jason sanjay nai devkaran take home guy mana manash samriddhi praveen hari bol वार्तिका प्रिया झांसी राजू संजय हरे कृष्णा संजीव वनप्पा ईश्वर लाल प्रवीण कृष्णा दुबे पॉल पॉल अरुदास कृष्णा दुबे खान गौल सैनी हरिबोल सौरभ बनर्जी सो जीव तत्व प्रभु जी चैप्टर थर्टीन जो आज डिस्कोर्स दे रहे हैं इसमें बहुत ही ब्यूटीफुल टॉपिक्स कवर्ड है राइट प्रभु जी प्लीज टेल एवरीबडी अबाउट इट लिटिल बेट बिफोर वी डू प्रेयर्स हरे कृष्णा सो टुडे द टॉपिक दिस अगेन वी अंडरस्टैंड फर्स्ट सिक्स चैप्टर्स ऑफ भगवत गीता रिफर टू कर्म योग द लास्ट सिक्स चैप्टर्स 13 थ्रू 18 थ्रू इन भगवत गीता रिफर टू ज्ञान योग बट एवरीथिंग इज कल्मिनेटिंग इनटू भक्ति योग सो द मिडिल सिक्स चैप्टर्स दैट वी हैव कवर्ड 7 थ्रू 12 so we finished the chapter 12 yesterday and so they are about bhakti yoga and now krishna is giving an extra edge you know on top of what he has already explained to arjun because some people they are driven by heart and some people are driven their mind by their mind so he is also providing arjun and through arjun he is providing us so lord krishna is telling us people who are very philosophical minded people who are very scientifically oriented people who like sankhya yoga analytical study how would they be able to understand this yoga so here that is being discussed and it has we have five lessons to take from this chapter so there are only little lessons every verse is a lesson but they are categorized into three uh, five different sections and we will be discussing those lessons that we heard uh, as lord krishna is speaking so we'll be sharing that so please join hari krishna हरे कृष्णा घनश्याम सक्सेना राज कृष्णा हरि बोल भूपेंद्र भगत हरीश डोगरा कैन एवरीबडी हियर प्रॉपरली प्लीज से समथिंग यस और नो आपको ठीक से ऑडिबल uh, है इस वक्त भूपेंद्र भगत हरीश डोगरा अमित चक्रवर्ती नीता भारती हरि बोल अद्रीज मयूर तुषी नयन गौतम डे प्रमेश हरे कृष्णा विवेक दास आई गेस द साउंड इज फाइन So Prabhu ji uh, you can go ahead and start with the first verse Join us for Guru Prarthi Namo Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prishtaya Bhutale Shrimate Bhakti Vedanta Swami Niti Namine Namaste Saraswate Deve Gaurvani Pracharine Nirvishesha Shunyavadi Paschatya Desh Tarine ओम ज्ञानतिमरंद ज्ञानंजनाशलाखया चक्षुन्मील तस्म श्रीगुरव नम मुखम कौती वाचाल पंगु लंघयते गिरि यदा तदहम वंदे श्रीगुर दीनतारण हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा डियर डिवोटीज प्लीज चैन इन द रजिस्ट्रेशन ऑफ द फर्स्ट वर्स तो हम पहला श्लोक पढ़ेंगे इस चैप्टर का बहुत ही क्विकली वी विल बी कमिंग अप विद एंड शेयरिंग द फाइव लेसन दैट वी लर्न थ्रू द वेरियस सेक्शन इन दिस चैप्टर एंड दे रिफर टू हार्ट सो द एक्रोनिम फॉर दैट वी हैव ब्रॉड टूडे दो फाइव लेसन यू कैन रिमेंबर ऑल दो फाइव लेसन थ्रू द एक्रोनिम हार्ट एच ई ए आर टी सो दो फाइव लेसन विल बी यू नो लर्निंग So, so that we can practice in our life so this is proper knowledge that we can practice in our life that's why it is transcendental and it actually you know helps us become transcendental to this material world he actually it actually enables us you know hum log ko adhyatma ka gyan adhyatma brahma bhuta stage pe le aata hai so that is the significance please join us in the recitation of the first verse shrimad bhagavad gita chapter 13 verse 1 and 2 अर्जुन उवाच 
प्रकृति पुषम च क्षेत्र क्षेत्रज्ञम चेदिच्छा ज्ञान ज्ञेय च केशव श्री भगवाच इदम शरीर कौंतेय क्षेत्रीयो वेति तत्हु क्षेत्र तद्विद translation by his divine grace as bhakti vedan swami shila prabhupad arjun said oh my dear krishna i wish to know about prakriti nature purusha the enjoyer and the field and the knower of the field and of knowledge and the object of knowledge the supreme personality of god had said this body or son of kunti is called the field and one who knows this body is called the knower of the field hare krishna so arjun is asking to know about six specific matters what is he asking he wants to know about the nature this prakriti the material nature he also wants to know about the purusha purusha means the one who is an enjoyer so there is an enjoyer and the enjoyed right so the prakriti is enjoyed and the purusha is the enjoyer but you know he is asking enjoyer in a singular manner right one who is of when lord krishna reveals he is in phases revealing this aspect so again our acronym today is heart h e a r t and h is that lord krishna is revealing the hidden knowledge and uh, mayavadis when they are referring to aham brahmas we thinking i am brahman but they are lacking this knowledge which lord krishna is revealing in this chapter even though shripa shankaracharya who we accept you know he is an incarnation of lord shiva so here you know shripa shankaracharya clearly identified that everyone should study bhagavad gita you know if there is one grantha he said if there is one you know scripture then it should be gita and if there is one deity who should be worshiped it should be krishna and if there is one sacrifice it should be the chanting of the holy name हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे सो नाउ दिस इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग ऑल माई अवाद इज दे एग्री विद दिस वर्ड्स बिकॉज शंकराचार्य यू नो दे रिफर टू हिम एज द स्पिच मास्टर यर एट द सेम टाइम दे रिफर टू द वर्ड अहम ब्रह्मास्मी फॉर द स्क्रिप्चर सेइंग दैट आई एम ब्रह्मन नॉट रियलाइजिंग दैट लॉर्ड कृष्णा इज पर ब्रह्मन राइट ही इज द सुप्रीम ब्रह्मन and that lack you know is the gap that they have and there is a very nice story a very famous story shri prabhu used to share where there was uh, in a mayavadi school a student he understood aham brahmasmi his teacher said yes now you are brahman you are god so you go out and be godly so he went out and as he was walking in the marketplace he suddenly saw a mad elephant rushing towards him he said i am god i am brahman what can the elephant do to me and the elephant came when he came close to him with his trunk quickly knocked him off and he you know went flying in the air you know after 20 30 feet he landed on the ground couple of broke, broken bones you know to jo maya wadi shishya tha uska haathi ne apne sur se itni jor se mara ki wo uchla hawa mein kuch to jaake gira kuch haddiyan tuti to bada sad ho gaya wo bolta ye kya hua you know mere to guru ne tha sikhaya tha main brahman hu यू नो आत्मा तो मुझे ऐसे कैसे हो गया तो अपने गुरु के पास वापस जाता है ही गोज बैक टू द स्पिच मास्टर ही सेज यू टोल्ड मी आई एम ब्रह्मन एंड वेन आई वॉज इन द मार्केट प्लेस दिस एलिफेंट मैड एलिफेंट वॉज रशिंग एंड इट नॉट मी आउट हाउ कुड दैट बी सो इज टीचर गिव्स अ वेरी नाइस एक्सप्लेनेशन ही सेज ओ यू फूल यू अंडरस्टैंड दैट यू आर ब्रह्मन बट कुंट यू अंडरस्टैंड दैट द ब्रह्मन इज ऑल्सो इन द एलिफेंट so that brahman was warning you not to be in the way otherwise you will get hurt so the body will get hurt so he gave this explanation and the student accepted it not realizing that there is someone per brahman the super soul who is the overseer and permitter in our heart so that's the secret that secret people base they think that i am brahman they forget that there is a per brahman also sitting in the heart the super soul parmatma a plenary expansion of lord shri krishna 
and it is explained in the shastras very nicely that we the learned transcendentalists who know the absolute truth they understand absolute truth in three forms what are these forms brahman parmatma or bhagwan right that's in Srimad Bhagavatam, the very first chapter, the sages are revealing this to Sutta Goswami, you know, who's made to sit on the Vyasasana, who recites the whole Srimad Bhagavatam as he had heard from Shukdev Goswami. When Sutta Goswami had sat with Vyasasana, the sages at Namashalina are headed by Shonakarishi. They Sutta Goswami in conversation. Mein, ye share kiya. So that's where Vadanti ta tato vidas tatum yajjyanam avyayam brahmeti paramatmeti bhagwaniti shabdyate. So, the learned transcendentalists they realize the absolute truth in three forms Brahman, Paramatma, and Bhagwan. So, Paramatma is the super soul in our heart. So, this is what Lord Krishna reveals. Now, you know, we sometimes get bewildered, and in the material world, there is always some amazing revelation that happens. So today we are covering H is for that hidden knowledge, that hidden realization, that revelation, right? So heart, Hridaya ka H is for identifying that hidden personality who is hidden from our sight. So we realize that we are soul, we are not this body. But so in the first six chapters that realization is there. Then we also realize that you know, from 6 to 12, that we are Jivya Rasulupaya Krishna Nitidas. We are eternal servant of Lord Shri Krishna. And if we constantly meditate on Lord Shri Krishna, use our intelligence sharply, Aham apni buddhi ko bhagwan ke smaran mein laga dein, shivaran mein lagata lage rahein, aur bhagwan ke liye apni buddhi ka jo tej hai, usko use kate huye bhagwan ke liye kaam kare, kaar kare, to hum log devotion service mein lagte huye, we can attain the supreme. That we already learn, you know, in chapter 12. But here some uh, new aspects have been revealed. And these aspects can be referred to as part of Sankhya Yoga analytical study. So what is, who is hidden in the heart? Just next to the soul is the super soul Paramatma. And it's very interesting. The soul has desires, right? But, you know, it thinks when thinking that I am this body, ahankar vimuddhatma karta hamiti manyate. Thinking under the influence of false ego. So false ego is the subtle body, the shukshma shari, jo humko maya se hi mila hai. Usme ye sochta hai ki I am the one who is the doer. I am the one who is making all things run. Not realizing that actually the living entity doesn't do anything. The living entity only desires and is the shetragya, is the owner of the body. So Lord reveals, yes. The owner of the body, of the field, and the field, the field is our senses, our body. So that refers to those 24 elements that are constituting the material universe. So in this material world, the 24 elements, starting with Pradhan, right? And Pradhan gets agitated by time. So why time is not there? Because it's a representation of Lord. And so from Pradhan comes the three modes of material nature. And we get the three subtle elements for the subtle body, right? Which is mind, intelligence and false ego. And then there are five Gyanendriyas, right? The knowledge acquiring senses. So those five knowledge acquiring senses are our eyes to see, right? Our ears to hear, our mouth, our tongue to taste palatable things, our skin for the touch and our nose to smell. So these are the various aspects. Yet at the same time, when we think I am this body, this is what happens. So there is a very nice story. There was a child, he was in a marketplace, you know, wandering with his mother and suddenly he liked Pringles, the chips, you know, they have like a big can, you know, tall can, they normally have Pringles chips in there. So he picked up a Pringles chips packet and, you know, here it's allowed, if you're going to buy something, why not, you can enjoy it as well. So he opened the box and he is tasting the Pringles and as his mother, you know, usne Pringle ka can utha liya shop se, usse khare jab aap khan, you know, kharidne wale ho, so it is okay for you to open the box and start eating it, enjoying it. So this child, wo khana shuru kar diya. Ab jab wo scan kar rahe the counter pe, he forgot to scan the can because wo haath mein pakda hua hai, mother baate kar rahi hai, he got distracted, he did not scan it. 
جیسے ہی دروازے کے پاس پہنچا سڈنلی الام بج اٹھا یو نو دا الام ساؤنڈیڈ اینڈ دیر واز اے بگ رش اینڈ ایوری ون ان دا امپلائی سیکشن واز لوکنگ اراؤنڈ واٹ ہیپن وائی ڈیڈ دا الام گو آف ہی بی کیم پینک وہ ڈر گیا وہ بھاگا وہاں سے امیجیٹلی اب اس کی مدر جب باہر جا رہی ہیں اس کو اپنا بیٹا نہیں دکھ رہا کہاں گیا کہاں گیا تو بولتا ہے کہ میں جو نیوز پیپر کے اسٹینڈس وغیرہ ہوتے ہیں نا چھوٹے چھوٹے ان کے پیچھے چھپا ہوا تھا نو دا امپلائیز وین ہز مدر کمپلین دا شی کین فائنڈ اے سن دین دا امپلائیز فرام دا اسٹور جو امپلائی تھے وہاں پہ جو کام کر رہے تھے اسٹور پہ کرمچاری وہ لوگ بھی آ گئے اس ان کی مدد کرنے کے لیے وہ بھی ڈھونڈنے لگے تو یہ اور زیادہ پینک کر گیا یہ دوڑنا شروع کر دیا اب جب کافی دیر تک پارکنگ لاٹ میں نہیں ڈھونڈ پائے تو انہوں نے کاپس کو کال کیا کہ بھائی یہ جو یو نو مہینہ ہے ان کا جو بیٹا ہے وہ کھو گیا ہے ہمارے اسٹور پہ آئے تھے ہم لوگوں نے دیکھا اس کو اچھا پھر وہ جو کاپس تھے وہ ڈھونڈنے لگ گئے اب یہ جو لڑکا ہے وہ ڈر کے مارے بھاگ رہا ہے کہ امپلائیز اس نے اس کے لیے کاپس بلا بلا لیے ہیں اور یہ جو کاپس ہیں اب اس کو پکڑ کے جیل میں ڈال دیں گے وہ دوڑتے جا رہا ہے تھوڑے سمے بعد تھک گیا تو چل رہا تھا تو سڈنلی اس نے دیکھا کہ ایک کاپ کی کار آ گئی بغل میں اس نے کاپ نے کہا رک جاؤ وہ بولتا ہے نہیں رہے نہیں یہ مجھ کو پکڑ کے جیل میں کر دیں گے تو وہ دوڑنے لگا جو اسے تو کاپ اس کے پیچھے پھر الام لگا کے اپنا وہ جو لاؤڈ اسپیکر ہوتا ہے نا اس پہ بولنے لگے کہ رک جاؤ ہم لوگ تمہیں ڈھونڈ رہے ہیں تمہاری مدد وریڈ ہے بٹ اس کو کچھ سنا ہی نہیں دے رہا دس از واٹ ہیپنس ایون دو پیپل آر ٹیلنگ ایس تھنگس لیکن ہم جب پینک میں ہوتے ہیں وی ڈونٹ لسن سو لاڈ کرشن از ٹیلنگ ایس اگین اینڈ اگین بٹ وین وی آر ان دس پینک اسٹیٹ تھنکنگ آف ہم لوگ کو اس کے بعد میں کیا کرنا ہے آج ہمیں کتنے کام کرنا ہے کل کام جب شروع ہوگا تو کیا ہوگا وی آر آلویز تھنکنگ اباؤٹ ان دا فیوچر اور لمنٹنگ اباؤٹ دا پاس رائٹ تو ایسے میں وی فار گیٹ دا میسیج از دا ٹرو میسیج از کمنگ ایٹ دس ویری مومنٹ ان دا پریزنٹ مومنٹ سو وی شوڈ فوکس بٹ دس چائلڈ ہی واز ان پینک اسٹیٹ ہی ڈیڈ ناٹ اسٹاپ سو ناؤ دے ٹرن آن دی الامس اینڈ ایز سون ایز دا لائٹس اینڈ دا یو نو پولیس سائرن جیسے ہی ساؤنڈ ہوا تو یہ اور زیادہ پینک کر گیا بہت جو سے دوڑنے لگا فائنلی اس کاپ نے دوسرے کاپ کو بلایا وہ دونوں کاپ دونوں طرف سے آئے اور اس کو پکڑ لیا بچے کو پھر یہ کیا ہوا بچہ اتنا پہنے کی اسٹیٹ پہ ہے دیٹ ہی ایون سلیپ دا کاپ از لائک ایک غلطی تو کر ہی دی اب دوسری غلطی سے بھی کیا ہوگا میں بھاگ سکتا ہوں لیکن دوسرے کاپ نے اسے اچھی طرح پکڑ لیا بولے یہ کر کیا رہے ہو وائی یو ڈوئنگ دس سو رونے لگا اٹ واز کمپلیٹلی ان مسٹیک میں ایسا نہیں کرنا چاہتا تھا تو ان لوگوں نے جب سنا کہ وہ یہ سوچ رہا ہے اس نے معلوم اپنے مدر کے لیے ایک لیٹر بھی رکھ دیا چھوٹا سا نوٹ کہ میں میکسیکو بھاگ رہا ہوں میں یہاں پہ نہیں رہنا چاہتا پلیز میرے کو نہیں ڈھونڈیں یہ کہتے ہوئے وہ بھاگ رہا تھا اس طرح سے بالکل گھبرایا ہوا کبھی کبھی ایسا ہوتا جب کاپس نے سنا تو وہ ہنسنے لگے دونوں تو اس بچے کو واپس لائے مدر کے ہاتھ میں پکڑائے اور دو ڈالر اپنی جیب سے نکال کے اس کی مدر کو دیے کہ پلیز گو ٹو دا اسٹور پیپل تاکہ اس کو یہ نہ لگے کہ پرنگلس جو اس نے کھائے ہیں جو اس نے خریدنا چاہتا تھا اٹ از یو نو ان پیڈ اور وہ لوگ ہنستے ہوئے دونوں کاپس چلے گئے جو پولیس مین تھے وہ دونوں واپس چلے گئے اور اس کی مدر واز سرپرائز اینڈ ہی واز سرپرائز بیکاز ہی واز تھنکنگ ہی واز اے وانٹیڈ کرمنل ناؤ ہی ریئلائز دیٹ اٹ واز سچ اے اسٹوپڈ مومنٹ بیکاز وی سم ٹائمز پینک اینڈ وین وی پینک دین وی فار گیٹ ٹو یوز آر انٹیلیجنس وین وی فار گیٹ ٹو یوز آر انٹیلیجنس آر میموری گیٹس پیولڈ رائٹ اینڈ دین اٹ جس کاسز آر فال ڈاؤن سو دس از واٹ ہیپنس سو وی ہیو ٹو بی ویری ویری کیوریس اینڈ اینکشیس ٹو ہیئر دا میسیج دیٹ لاڈ کرشن از شیئرنگ and so he is revealing this that in the heart there is soul and super soul so this is the hidden knowledge of the enjoyer and the enjoyed so prakriti yes it is enjoyed so the body this is a field of activities so the body that we get and it is made up of 24 elements so again those 24 elements in this material world have been described so we talked about pradhan mind intelligence false ego so mind intelligence false ego they create the subtle body سم ٹائم اس کو کہتے ہیں سوکشم شریر رائٹ سو وی ول لرن ہاؤ ٹو اسٹاپ لمنٹنگ بیکاز وی انڈرسٹینڈ دیٹ ایکچولی وی آر ناٹ ڈوئنگ تھنگس اٹ از دا باڈی ڈوئنگ تھنگس ہاؤ ایور وی آر میکنگ دا ڈیزائر رائٹ وی آر سینکشننگ دی آرڈر ایز واٹ دا باڈی شوڈ ڈو اینڈ لارڈ سپر سول ان آر ہارٹ دا پلینری ایکسپینشن آف لاڈ شکش ہی از ان آر ہارٹ اینڈ ہی از ان ڈیوائڈیڈ ایون دو ہی اپیئرس ڈیوائڈیڈ سو دیر از اونلی ون سپر سول So that's why I know my business because my soul, you know, I am in this body. You know your business because you as living entity in your body.
Yet at the same time, people sometimes make another mistake. What is that hidden secret? They think that actually because Lord is in, in your heart as Paramatma, in my heart as Paramatma, so he must be different. No, it is the same super soul which is all pervading, but he appears divided. So Srila Prabhupada gives a very nice example. During the noon time, if you are walking, you know, at the meridian, so again, if you are walking, and for a long distance, if you ask someone that who is, uh, where is sun, then everyone will say it's above my head, but it is not the fact. Actually, sun is one, it is situated at one place, but it appears to be above everyone's head, so everyone is thinking that it is on everyone's head. Mayavadis, they give also an interesting fact. Once again, they are trying to, they get bewildered, right? It is uh, Lord Shiva Parvati ko batate hain ke main is tarah se aunga aur jo mayavadis hain unko bewilder karunga unko gumrah karunga because they really need to you know properly take to the shelter of Lord Krishna however they are they have offended us as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says to wo kis tarah se sochte hain ke bhai jaise dher sare matke hain uske andar pani bhara hua hai तो हर एक मटके के अंदर सूर्य को देखें तो फिर सूर्य डिवाइडेड हो गया उनका ये भी कहना है कि अगर जैसे डिफरेंट डिफरेंट मटके हैं उसमें जो हवा है राइट उसमें जो स्पेस है ईथर है स्काई है वो पहले इंडिविजुअल मटके में डिवाइडेड है और जब मटके टूट जाते हैं तो वो अनडिवाइडेड हो जाता है वो मर्ज किया जाता है वो पूरा स्काई हो जाता है स्काई ऑल्सो मीन स्पेस इट इज़ नॉट द स्काई वी टॉकिंग अबाउट विच इज़ द कवरिंग दैट लुक्स लाइक लाइट ब्लू यू नो ऑन अ क्लियर डे and at night it looks dark so again and at sunset time it looks bluish you know yellow red orange all those colors mixed together and when after rain there is sunshine then we even see indra dhanush so all these are manifestation to our vision of the space but it is actually being referred to as sky or ether to jo sky or ether hota hai wo hum log ke हम लोग को समझना चाहिए कि वो स्पेस फॉर्म को बोल रहे हैं भगवान सो माइंड इंटेलिजेंस फॉर से गो ये सूक्ष्म शरीर सूक्ष्म का मतलब होता है बहुत छोटा ये छोटा शरीर नहीं है एक्चुअली योर माइंड इज सो बिग दैट व्हेन यू आर यू नो शेडो फॉल्स अंडर ग्राउंड योर माइंड एक्सपेंस टू दैट डिस्टेंस सो दिस इज सटल माइंड सो अगेन दैट्स ऑल्सो इन द शास्त्र इट इज सेट दैट यू नॉट यू शुड नॉट इवन स्टेप ऑन द शेडो ऑफ योर स्पिरिचुअल मास्टर बिकॉज दैट इज ऑफेंसिव और ये नॉलेज इसलिए जरूरी है कि एनालिटिकली कुछ लोग ड्रिवन होते हैं कुछ लोग बहुत ज्ञानी होते हैं फिलोसफर्स होते हैं दे वॉन्ट टू हियर अबाउट वाई शुड बी टेक टू डिवोशनल सर्विस वाई शुड बी एंगेज इन सर्विंग लॉश कृष्णा एंड दे आर नॉट गेटिंग फुल आंसर यू नो वी हर्ड इन ट्वेल्थ चैप्टर ही हैज गिवन द वेरियस स्टेज इन डिवोशनल सर्विस के डिवोशनल सर्विस में क्या क्या स्टेजेस हैं लेकिन वो उससे भी सेटिस्फाई नहीं वो बोलते हैं नहीं नहीं हमें एनालिटिकल स्टडी बताइए एनालिटिकल स्टडी सांख्य योग तो श्रीमद भागवत में कपिल देव ने इलेबोरेटली थर्ड कैंटो में बताया राइट वेन ही इज कन्वर्सिंग विद हिज मदर देवहूति सो कपिल देव सन ऑफ देवहूति एंड करदम्ब मनी ही हैज इलेबोरेटली बहुत ही विस्तार से उन्होंने सांख्य योग बताया है एनालिटिकल स्टडी सो ज्ञानी जो होते हैं दे शुड लिसन देन दे विल बिकम भक्त जस्ट लाइक द चतुर कुमार they got attracted by the smell of tulsi at the lotus feet of padmanabh vishnu so they followed that they traveled through the sky hai na jo chatur kumar the sanak sanatan sananda and sanat kumar the first four sons of lord brahma the wo brahmavadi the right they used to think that brahman is the final goal lekin unhone jab smell kari tulsi to wo follow karte hue jab gaye you know antariksh mein jaate hue aur इमेजिन अगेन समटाइम्स जब हम बात करते हैं कि हमारे शास्त्रों में दिया हुआ है कि लोग बिना किसी एक्स्ट्रा कवरिंग के आसानी से बल्कि ये जो चार बच्चे थे सन्स ऑफ लॉर्ड ब्रह्मा द हाईली एलिवेटेड पर्सनैलिटी दर इज अ होल संप्रदाय कमिंग फ्रॉम कुमार संप्रदाय फ्रॉम चतुर कुमार सो ये आसानी से आकाश में उड़ते हुए जा सकते थे दे ऑल्सो स्पेस मैन और वो भगवान के वैकुंठ धाम में जाने लगे तो भगवान के वैकुंठ धाम में भी सेवन गेट्स हैं सिक्स गेट्स पर कोई से नहीं रोका सेवन्थ गेट पे जय विजय ने रोक दिया और वो जो रोकना था दैट वाज आल्सो लॉर्ड्स डिजायर क्योंकि अगर वो एक बार सेवन गेट से अंदर चले जाते 
तो नो इवन लॉर्ड वुड नॉट कुड नॉट आस्क दैम टू लीव बट दे वर नॉट क्वालिफाइड क्यों क्योंकि वो ब्राह्मणवादी थे वो ब्राह्मण तक जा सकते थे भगवान के वैकुंठ में जाने का मतलब तो ये हुआ कि उनको भगवान का रियलाइजेशन है प्रॉपर रियलाइजेशन पूर्ण तरह से ज्ञान है लेकिन अभी उनको पूर्ण ज्ञान नहीं था तो तब पद्मनाभ विष्णु आए और जब इन्होंने पद्मनाभ विष्णु के यू नो चरण छुए स्मेल करी जो तुलसी थी सो द स्मेल ऑफ तुलसी तुलसी देवी इज मोर अप्रिशिएटेड भगवान तुलसी देवी जो उनके पाँव में हमेशा शरणागत रहती हैं उनको लक्ष्मी जी से भी ज़्यादा सम्मान देते हैं क्यों क्योंकि लक्ष्मी जी कभी कभी अपने भक्तों के लिए चली जाती हैं कि उनको ब्लेस करना है पीपल हु आर डूइंग यू नो वर्शिप ऑफ गॉडेस लक्ष्मी लेकिन वो बोलते हैं कि तुलसी अपनी जगह से कभी नहीं जाती वो हमेशा चरण में रहती है इसलिए भगवान विष्णु तुलसी को ज़्यादा रिकॉर्ड करते हैं लक्ष्मी देवी से क्योंकि वो उनके अनन्य भक्त है उनकी तुलसी माता की कोई और इच्छा नहीं है इसलिए जिस घर में तुलसी होती है वहाँ विष्णु वास तो गारंटीड है सो दैट इज़ ऑल्सो वेरी ऑस्पिशियस फॉर अस टू अंडरस्टैंड कि हमें अगर तुलसी माता की सेवा करने का मौका मिले अपने घर में उनका रोज पूजन करें उनको जल चढ़ाएं तो बहुत ही अच्छा होता है जो कि द्वादशी और संडे को नहीं जल चढ़ाना चाहिए एंड एनी वे अगर प्रॉपरली आप किसी प्लांट uh, एक्सपर्ट से पूछेंगे तो बोलेंगे थ्री टू फोर टाइम्स इन अ वीक ओनली मैक्सिमम यू डोंट वॉन्ट टू ओवर वाटर यू डोंट वॉन्ट टू अंडर वाटर दिस इज अ स्पेसिफिक ड्यूरेशन तो पहला उन्होंने हिडन बताया कि ठीक है जो फील्ड ऑफ एक्टिविटी है दिस बॉडी इज द क्षेत्र इस फील्ड ऑफ एक्टिविटी और इसके अंदर हमने डिस्कस किया अभी तक प्रधान विच इज यू नो एक्सपेंशन ऑफ राधा रानी कैस एजिटेटेड बाई टाइम एंड द थ्री मोर्स ऑफ मटेरियल नेचर दे मैनिफेस्ट सो दैट इज फर्स्ट एलिमेंट दैन द सटल बॉडी माइंड इंटेलिजेंस फॉल्स ही गो दे आर देयर देन कम्स द नॉलेज एक्वायरिंग सेंसेज आईज ईयर्स नोज टंग टच यू नो द स्किन एंड देन दे आर फाइव uh working senses these are the two hands the two legs again the tongue that speaks right watcher and uh anus you know for discarding waste as well as genitals for progeny or five sense objects hai you know the able to see the sight the uh, ability to touch things so these are sense objects right the various objects that we can see the objects we can hear from the beautiful music we can hear the beautiful voices we can hear and all the our senses are seeking to engage with the sense objects yet at the same time when these sense objects are oriented towards krishna right when we see the beautiful form of lord krishna in the deity form then our eyes fully become satisfied otherwise the materials uh, beauty it agitates us it burns us burns us so the senses fully get satisfied when we see beautiful form of lord krishna our heart gets purified when we chant the holy name of lord shri krishna hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare hare the same is the effect of hearing not just chanting right so our tongue is engaged in chanting so the sound vibration the hearing aspect the touch aspect when we touch the devotees when we touch the deities when we smell tulsi leaves when we smell the flowers offered to the lordship all that fragrance the aroma that is very purifying you know in a temple on the altar so these are the five various sense objects and then the gross elements what are the gross elements earth water fire air ether now why did i raise different fingers because actually all these five elements are present in our hand when we raise something say we right this is solid we actually representing earth the thumb represents earth and when somebody says this you know then you understand that the kid is asking to go for a leak because it represents water when we get angry this finger it's a fiery finger it rises it's a polluted also that's why when we do japa we don't want the fiery the polluted finger to touch the pure tulsi beads why because the two factors first is fire and wood is not a good combination second is this is polluted mother tulsi is pure so we want to stay with the purity and keep the impure things away then air so when we put tilak we use this finger right so this is like we are lifting it by air and of all the five gross elements ether the space the sky is the largest so the largest finger represents sky so that is there and then 
सो दीज आर द ट्वेंटी फोर एलिमेंट्स प्रधान माइंड इंटेलिजेंस फॉल्सिको दैट्स फोर ट्वेंटी यू नो नॉलेज एक्वायरिंग सेंसेस ट्वेंटी वर्किंग सेंसेस और सॉरी फाइव नॉलेज एक्वायरिंग सेंसेस फाइव वर्किंग सेंसेस फाइव ग्रॉस एलिमेंट्स फाइव सेंस ऑब्जेक्ट्स सो फाइव फोर जो ट्वेंटी प्लस फोर ट्वेंटी फोर then 25th is the soul and 26th is the super soul the supreme personality of god it is expanding as super soul and he is in my heart is in your heart and he is expanding throughout the universe so he has two features sat and chit he is eternal and he is full of knowledge lord krishna is sachidanand vigra so he is eternal he is full of knowledge and he is full of transcendental bliss so such is his beautiful form as shyam sundar so now lord krishna as he is describing this kshetra and kshetragya kshetragya is the knower of the body knower of the body he is saying there are two knowers of the body the soul and the super soul now how do we understand that the soul and super soul they are two different knowers of the body then shila propad gives very nice example of a king and the citizen in his kingdom so citizen may own a small property some land some house and various things right that's within the kingdom so you know the citizen they own that particular property so they are knower of the property they are the owner of that property so similarly we the living entity in the soul becomes the owner of this property because we are in this body however the king is the true proprietor of the body right of the kingdom so lord krishna is the true proprietor of the body just like a king is the true proprietor of the kingdom he owns the whole kingdom even though the citizen may feel that small tract of land or the house that they own whatever little property they have in the kingdom is theirs but then the true proprietor is the king so that needs to be understood very well and lord krishna he doesn't do anything he just is an overseer permitter as he has expanded as super sadas parmatma so that has been identified then in uh, tatriya upanishad there is a very nice reference given of brahma pucham pratishtha so lord he has unlimited potencies various energies so he expands his energies expands into various different forms maya is a philosophical concept right so swarn maya means golden so it doesn't mean that it is gold but it is golden it looks like you know gold because it has that look it has that shine so maya refers to that concept so when we are small children we see they are anna maya that is the lowest stage and we see this very much prevalent in animal kingdom and you know uh, insects and others because their intelligence is i want food i want food i want food so a small baby whatever you give it it will put it in its mouth because that's its consciousness राइट स्मॉल बेबी क्या कॉन्शियसनेस है एक छोटे से बालक की बच्चे की जिसने ज्यादा ज्यादा जन्म है उसको कुछ भी देंगे वो मुंह में डालेगा क्यों क्योंकि दैट इज इज कॉन्शियसनेस अन्नम है हर चीज उसे खाना है हर चीज उसे टेस्ट करना है दैट इज द ओनली सेंस दैट इज प्रेवलेंट यू सी विजिबल नाउ जो अन्नमय स्टेज होती है दैट आफ्टर दैट वेन समबडी ग्रोस अप दैन ही अंडरस्टैंड सो पेरेंट्स घर से गए या मेरे को डर लग रहा है अगर बच्चे के सामने पेरेंट्स नहीं मिले तो वो रोता है क्यों क्योंकि इट वॉन्ट्स दैट सिक्योरिटी ईट स्लीप मे इट डिफेंड सो नाउ अगेन अब द इंसेक्स यू सी दैट एनिमल प्रोपेंसिटी इट स्लीप मे इट डिफेंड दैट्स वाई इफ पीपल आर ओनली फोकसिंग ऑन इट स्लीप मे इट डिफेंड दोज बेसिक नेसेसिटीज दैट द प्राण माई स्टेट दैट वी हैव टू सर्वाइव फॉर सर्वाइवल वी ईट फॉर सर्वाइवल वी स्लीप टू रिजुनेट आर सेल्स वी फॉर सर्वाइवल वी कैन ट्राई टू क्रिएट मोर you know people like us around us so that you know we have children and so forth there is also expansion because happiness comes from relationship jo khushi hoti hai wo sambandhiyon acche pyare sambandhiyon ke sangat mein aati hai that's also another aspect so jo pran mein stage pe aur fir defend constantly apne aap ko guard karna sab log ek tarah se ek army bana lete hain family members that this is our circle this is our inner circle and we see that's why this aspect comes this is our inner circle and everywhere this bound these boundaries are visible you know sometimes people have like gated communities because they are looking at that defense so again shilapurpa said even an elephant gets you know teeth and the class 
to defend themselves. So that is at the animal level. We are still at the animal level. We have to rise above that. Then we re people start to realize, you know, there is a manomaya state, right? And then comes Gyanmaya. Manomaya is like mental speculation. Everything is just happening as because we think so and so. So this is what is happening. And people who are at the Manomaya state, they actually are talking about things that they can't control. They can't, they can't influence. But they're saying, you know, the leader should have done this. And the cricketer should have played in this manner. Then we would have won. That person should have this. They always want to just speculate and spend their important time, which can, you know, this is precious time, not a moment can be recovered, even if you give all the golds of this world. Now, Alexander the Great, when he was, after fighting with uh, Chandragupta, he was defeated and then he was across the river. Usko malaria ho gaya. And now he's asking his doctors, Vedyas, he's saying, you know, for give me a little time, I'll give you the gold of the world. And they're like saying, no, we can't even give you another breath. That is not in our control. Whatever is destined, that will happen. So even for the gold of the world, we cannot get this breath. But why to waste such a precious human life in doing mundane things at Manoma stage? And these are the stages we are causing on ourselves. So we have the choice. We make the choice of talking about useless subject matters. Lord Krishna is telling us, he's telling that we should be engaged in devotional service at every moment. We should be constantly chanting the holy name. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. And we should be constantly engaged in his devotional service. So that is the important aspect. And now, after that is Gyanma, realization that extends beyond the living symptoms, you know, to the point of thinking, feeling and willing. So again, now we understand, we think logically, oh, is this right? And we, you know, understand that we need to understand better knowledge from others who are highly elevated. So we seek knowledge. Now we are coming to the point of knowledge, right? But then the knowledge that we cannot practice in life, we cannot use it in life, then it's not true knowledge. The knowledge should be something that we can practice in our life. We, we can come to better stage than where we are today. That is true knowledge. So that is something that in the next section, Lord Krishna explains knowledge. E in heart he refers to explaining knowledge, but this is at the Gyanmaya stage that one comes to this level. And above that is realization of the knowledge. What we have learned, we apply it. And that is Vigyanmaya, where the living entities, mind and life symptoms are distinguished from the living entity itself. That stage at Vigyanmaya stage is where we behave, we act. So at the Gyanmaya stage we may know, I am a living entity. But at Vigyan, may we act as a living entity. Jivera Surupoye Kishnera Nityadas. We act in our constitutional position as devotee. We engage in devotional service. It simply starts with the chanting of the holy name. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. And so now the comes when we engage in chanting, the next and the supreme stage comes. And what is that stage? Srila Prabhupada used to quickly identify in a very small slogan around the chanting of the Holy Name. He used to say, chant and be happy. That is the Anandamaya stage. We experience transcendental bliss when we do the chanting, when we engage in devotional service, when we engage in Sankirtan Yajna. That's the Yajna for this age. Krite tadadhyaya te vishnum te tayam yajito makhe dwapare pari charyam kala tadhari kirtan. In Krita Yuga, in Satya Yuga, dhyaya te vishnum. One could meditate on the supreme form of Lord Shri Krishna and could attain perfection. However, that was a very difficult process as we understood from Dhyani Yoga, chapter 6. Because one has to practice that for tens of thousands of years. We don't have a body that can you know, bear the austerity of tens of thousands of years. We have an average lifespan of 100,000 years so but people in Satyug they could live they had a lifespan of 100,000 years so they could be yes and they could attain perfection like Prachetas they meditated for 10,000 years and they attained perfection while Vishwamit who was meditating for 60,000 years he was allured by Menaka so there is a great danger that you could be allured by Maya material energy somebody very beautiful can come and lure you away or something very you know high 
something attractive comes from one of your senses could be driven away. And when the senses are driven away, your mind is automatically driven away, right? She, Lord Krishna says that just like a boat is driven away by a wind, just like that the mind, when it meditates on a specific senses, that you are attracted by a sense object. When our then they follow them and then it causes the mind to follow intelligence gets you know lost or feel hamara patan hota hai hamara fall down hota hai now we don't want to go through, through those stages so satyuga that ex used to be in satyuga and austerity went away right the four limbs of religion austerity cleanliness mercy and truthfulness so austerity as it diminished what was left cleanliness mercy and truthfulness now in Trita Yuga, people could do Yajatoma, okay? they could go do fire sacrifice. By performing fire sacrifices, they could still, you know, sustain themselves very nicely and attain perfection. That still required cleanliness of the place, cleanliness of the, you know, Samagri, the various paraphernalia, cleanliness of the priest. So the six kind of cleanliness that needs to be maintained. Again, very difficult process. So with Dwapar Yuga, Dwapar Paricharyayam. So in Kali age, we don't have that cleanliness. The test of the shloka is you would say the shloka, any shloka and the fire would appear. You would perform the shloka and kill, uh, sacrificing element, the element would walk out, the soul would walk out with a human body from the fire. We all hear about Draupadi and Dishtadumna. They appeared from the fire. We hear about Vratrasur, he appeared from the fire. Right, so that's also not possible today. Then Dwapari Paricharyayam, in Dwapar Yuga, pilgrimage, people would go on pilgrimage, and Balaram, his Adi Guru, he went on pilgrimage, Viduji went on pilgrimage, Uddhava went on pilgrimage. There's so many personalities, and deity worship is started, the temple going, you know, that's also pilgrimage. We may take a pilgrimage long or short, but it's a pilgrimage. So when we go to the temple, we serve the deities. That is, you know, the process. And Lord Krishna himself appeared, so it was possible in Dwaparyu. And Kalauta Dharikitan and the same perfection and all the results of all the other perfections in different ages can be attained in Kali age simply by chanting of the holy name. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Kalauta Dharikitana. So that is the Ananmay stage. Now Ananmay stage is said to be you know, um, so when the living entity is enjoyed, there is a supreme enjoyer, Param Purusha, who is none other than Law Shri Krishna. And different from the living entity is the Ananmay stage, right? Ananmay, which represents Law Shri Krishna. Now, Lord Krishna reveals what is knowledge. Now, this knowledge is not the temporary knowledge of this world. What we get in this world is actually information because it changes every other day, right? It has, it's in formation all the time so sometimes it forms and then it deforms then again new information forms so that's it's in formation then it gets deformed that's the state of the knowledge that we get in this material world today this technology is going tomorrow that technology will you know replace it today this particular theory is there tomorrow that theory will replace it it's very interesting that uh, Einstein was standing in front of uh, Newton's statue and he's like, I'm going to change, uh, you know, the theory that you have. Because Newton said life, uh, light travels in straight line. And Einstein proved it that it bends, right? It bends around the aperture, from the aperture at the, on, at the edges. And that's how we see around the solar eclipse also, that the star displacement happens when people, people took picture of the stars at the time of solar eclipse and later on reflected it when there was no solar eclipse going on to show that actually life bends. So again, in, that's information that things happen in this manner. But what is true knowledge? Don't you want to know? Lord Krishna is explaining the true knowledge. Won't you want to know that knowledge, the true knowledge, the transcendental knowledge that is eternal, that is always there, that is always purifying, that helps us elevate from this material world, that can help us attain Lord Shri Krishna. Would you not want to know that? This is to establish our relationship, to make that strong. So there are 20 subject matters of that knowledge. And that Lord Krishna is explaining this knowledge. So E in heart refers to 
explanation of the knowledge that Lord Krishna is giving to Arjun. The first knowledge is Amanitvam. Amanitvam means humility. So again, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he says, Tanadapi Shunichena, Tarurapi Saishuna, Amanina, Amana, Dena, Ketanya Sadahi. Amanina. Right? So again, he is telling us that we should be more humble than the grass on the street, more tolerant than the tree. And Amanina is like where we should not be expecting respect from others, but ready to give all respect to others. Mana Dena, Ketanya Sadari, so we can chant the holy name eternally, constantly. Amanitvam. With humility, there is also Amanina was there, which is, you know, no prideless, no pride, having no pride. So this is Adam Bhitvam. Adam Bhitvam is pridelessness. Not having any pride, understanding I am Jivira Surup, I am Manu, I am very limited. You know, pride, Srila Prabhupada gave a very nice example when um, His Holiness uh, Tamal Krishna Maharaj in Los Angeles temple, he was asking by, to, uh, he was asking Prabhupada, how can I be prideless, how can I be humble? Srila Prabhupada said, you know, there, there are unlimited universes. We are in a very small universe. And in this universe, there are so many unlimited planets. Vinamrita, yes. <clears throat> Yet at the same time, you know, in this universe, there are so many planets. And we are on a small planet called Earth. On this planet Earth, there are so many countries. We are in this one country, US, United States of America. In this country, there are so many states. We are in one state, California. In this state, there are so many cities, and we are in one city. On this, in this city, there are so many streets, and we are in this one street. And on this street, there are so many houses. We are in this one houses. And this one house, there are so many rooms. And in one room, a man is thinking, "I am important." So that is hilarious. If you pay attention, that we are, we are very limited, very minute. Yet because of pride, we think that we are important. Right? Pridelessness is knowledge, understanding that we should be Adam Bhitvam. Then Ahimsa, non-violence, like uh, Srila Prabhupada says, that what is non-violence? True non-violence is not eating meat and fish and eggs and all these things, but rather not spreading is also violence. Not spreading Krishna consciousness, not sharing this transcendental knowledge with others is also violence. So we should talk about Krishna, we should sing about Krishna, we, are, we should pray for the whole world that my dear Krishna, people have forgotten, just like Jesus Christ. What was he praying at the last moment? He was saying, my dear Father, forgive them because they do not know what they are doing. So that is a Vaishnava, you know, behavior. So we hear from various personalities as how we can be benefiting others and then we can be non-violent. Then Shantir, now this Shantir is not Shanti. Shantir starts with a K, Ka Shantir, Adha Ka is my. So that means tolerance, right? Taro rapi sahishnuna, sahishnuna, sahishil ta kitni hai, how much can you tolerate? So that is there, we should be more tolerant than the tree, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says. And tree, look at its example, it gives, when it's living, at that time it's giving its bark, its fruits, its flowers, it's giving its twigs, its leaves, you know, jo vriksh hota hai, wo chhaav dita hai, jo panth pe ja rahe hota hai, वो फल फूल सब कुछ देता है कंद पत्तियां भी देता है अपनी शाखाएं भी देता है और लोग उसको काट देते हैं वृक्ष का तो मीनिंग है वन दैट इज मेंट टू बी कट दैट इज द लिटरल मीनिंग ऑफ वृक्ष अ ट्री इज मेंट टू बी कट संस्कृत वर्ड संस्कृत वर्ड इज वृक्ष सो इवन दो इट नोस दैट इट विल बी कट इट स्टिल कंटिन्यूस टू गिव बैक टू ह्यूमैनिटी एंड टू अदर्स वो हाउ बिकॉज द वुड कैन बी यूज टू मेक डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ uh, furnitures can be used to print books and perfection is achieved when it is in the form of Bhagavad Gita as it is or Srimad Bhagavatam, transcendental literature. So that's the purpose, but people use it for different mundane writing also and Srila Prabhupada used to feel very sad that there are hundreds of thousands of books are coming out every year, but only few of them refer to transcendental knowledge. So that is also transcendental, if we understand, to be tolerant and arjvam. Arjvam means simplicity. We should be very simple-minded. We should not be covetous in our behavior. We should be straightforward in our dealings. Then the most important one is this uh, sixth one, 
Acharya Upasanam. So Acharya Upasanam, Upasana means one worships. But how can you worship if you don't approach a spiritual master? So one should be approaching a bona fide spiritual master in parampara, in disciplic succession. And there are four sampradayas, right? There are four sampradayas from which are following parampara. So Rudra sampradaya coming from Lord Shiva, Shri sampradaya coming from Goddess Lakshmi, Kumar sampradaya coming from the four Kumaras, sons of Lord Brahma, and Brahma sampradaya coming from Lord Brahma. And all these sampradayas are originally emanating from whom? Lord Krishna, yes. So he has provided instructions for these four uh, heads of the sampradayas. So that's how it's coming. And then the seventh is cleanliness, shocham. So shocham is also very important. Cleanliness is next to godliness. It is a fact. Srila Prabhupada used to stress on this again and again. So we should try to be very clean internally and externally. In external cleaning happens when we take bath, when we keep, keep our body nice and tidy. Internal cleansing happens when we engage in the chanting of the holy name. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. And both are very important. Internal cleansing is even more important than external cleansing actually. And stheriam, steadiness. So we should be well determined in our path. We should know the right path first. And then when we understand the path, when we get the instruction, then we should carry out those instructions with stheriam. Stheriam is like dhairya, right? Dhairya refers to patience. So that's another aspect of steadiness. Atma vinigraha. So again, the ninth one is Atma Vinigraha is to control ourselves, self-control. So, Vacho Vegam Manasa Krodha Vegam Jiva Vegam Darapastha Vegam Etan Vegan Yuvisheta Dhirag Sarvan Apima Prithvim Sashishyad So, this in Nectar of Instruction, the very first verse, Sri Larupa Goswami is revealing that one who can, you know, control one's speech. Our tongue likes to vibrate, but you have to control that. So, one who can control the speech, one who can control the veg, the, you know, veg also refers to like the flowing force, just like in the case of wind we observe, of mind, right, the force of mind, of wandering, chanchila hi mana krishna, as Arjun reveals, so to be able to control the mind, right, krodh vegam, and then anger, one who can control one's anger, and then udharapastha vegam, so that's referring to you know, you can control the tongue by eating prasadam, only Krishna prasadam, so it will get purified. And udhar is stomach and pastam is further down. So in a straight line, we see these three factors and they should be controlled. So the janitor should be also controlled. So that has been also explained to be able to self-control ourselves. And when we control ourselves, what is the effect? That brings in the eighth one. Actually, before Atma Vinigra, then that helps us control uh, the tenth one, which is the sense objects. We don't engage with the sense objects for material sense gratification, rather, we seek spiritual interaction by engaging in devotional service. So, in the Atheshu Vairagyam, so with respect to sense gratification, we become Vairagya, we renounce the sense gratification, we renounce the sense objects, rather, we engage everything in surveying the master of the senses, Lord Rishikesha, he is the controller of the senses, Lord Krishna. So we become satisfied, all our senses also satisfied. Then eleventh one is Ahankara, absence of false ego. When we come to this stage, that automatically we are able to attain the next level, which is ahan, Ana Ahankara. Ana Ahankara means absence, Ana, and Ahankara is false ego. You cannot give up your ego because ego is identity. So we all living entities have ego and we jivera swarup hoya krishna nitadas. Swarup refers to I am. Another example is am brahmasmi. Aham refers to I am, which is ego. So we all cannot give up our identity, we have a spiritual identity. And we are all Brahman, yet at the same time we should understand jivera swarup hoya krishna nitadas. So our ego is to serve in pleasing Lord Shri Krishna in his service. So now, after the eleventh one, one should understand the evil of the four different kinds of miseries. So these are, we 
we should understand the evil, the miseries that happen to us because we take on this material body. Janma refers to taking birth, Mrityu is death, Jara is old age and Vyadhi is disease. So again, when we take birth, you know, the doctors can tell us how much pain a baby in the womb has to go through the position and all. Srimad Bhagavatam talks elaborately, Sankhya Yoga. Lord Kapil Dev is describing how a baby is so much you know, twisted and turning and being bitten by so many worms in mother's womb. Mrityu, we all understand that death, everyone is fearful of death. So again, why? Because it is very stressful and jara old age. We don't want it, but it comes, jara comes. And Vyadhi, we all have experience of falling sick sometimes. We don't want it, to, we don't want to be deceased. But now we are talking about these 20 qualities and we have discussed 12 of them. So understand the evil of Janmitur Jara Vyadhi. Then the 13th verse is Aksaktir, detachment. So Asakti is attachment, Asaktir is detachment. So we should become detached and and Anabhiv Shvangaha and without association of who? Putra Dara Grahadishu. So it doesn't mean that you give up your Putra means son, Dara is wife and Graha is the house and Adi Shu. refers to Adi means and other things. So one should not just renounce one's relatives and go to the forest. Shira Prabhupada very nicely says in the purport, is describing that one actually should engage everyone in Lord Krishna's service. So the house will become vacant. House will become transcendental to the material world if everyone is engaging in devotional service. If everyone is sitting together and chanting the holy name. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. So that is what is being meant by not association because the association is with respect to body. If we associate with the body and the expansion of the body in the form of wife, sons and you know household things, then that will cause a fall down. So without association of these things. And nityam cha samachittatvam. So this is the 15th one. To always maintaining a constant equilibrium, never to lose our balance. So it's very important. We don't have to be on this side or that side. We have to be just situated at the lotus feet of Lord Shri Krishna and not get bewildered. So again, that is the shelter. By taking shelter of Lord Shri Krishna, we can maintain constant equilibrium with constant engagement in devotional service. And Ishta Nishto Papatishu. Ishta Anishto. So again, Ishta refers to something that is desirable and Anishta, and Anishta means undesirable. You know, so sometimes people say, Anishta ho gaya, are bahut bura ho gaya, right? So, Papat is, you know, we should not be, we should be in constant equilibrium of what? Of, you know, dualities. When something good happens or something bad happens, we, will be in, we should be in equilibrium. Hot and cold, we should be in equilibrium. So, we should be rising above the relativity of this world. Heat and cold, happiness, distress, pain, pleasures you know, desirable, undesirable. Rather, we should be looking at it from a devotional service perspective. If you are smart, you would know the smart mantra. And what's the smart mantra? Smartavya satatam vishnu vismartavya najatuchit sarve vidhi nishyadrasyur eta yore vakinkara. So always remember Krishna and never forget Krishna. And all the rules and regulations are just subservient to these two principles. So we also covered yesterday that we have to accept things which are favorable for our devotional service and reject things that are unfavorable. So Anukulyasa Sankalpa Pratikulyasa Varjanam. So that is also Anukul jo hai humari devotion service ke liye hum usko accept karna chahiye. Aur Pratikul jo hai jo uske virod mein jo humari devotion service ke liye hurdle hai usko reject karna chahiye. So we have one choice to make choice, right? That is, that's the freedom we have. So we should make the right choice. That is the intelligence. That is the knowledge enables us to develop that right choice. So it is very important for us to you know, know what is the right choice. And then Lord Krishna is saying, Mai cha ananya yogena, ananya, right? Not any other. So Srila Prabhupada calls it unalloyed devotional service unto Lord Shri Krishna. 
So we should always be engaged in devotional service 24 by 7, constantly thinking, talk, constantly talking to the Lord Shri. We should, you know, anything that kind of disturbs us, just place it at the lotus feet of Lord Shri Krishna and ask, what is the instruction? What, how do I get out of this situation? What is your desire? How can I serve you? And Lord Krishna, he takes care of you. There's a very nice example when in the Juhu temple earlier, uh, His Holiness Giriraj Maharaj, he was the temple president, right? And uh, he, you know, Srila Prabhupada told him, you should have Sankirtan every day. And uh, he said, every day? That would be very difficult. Then Srila Prabhupada said, okay, as much as you can. So he would keep a program of Sankirtan, you know, like congregation chanting and Kirtan over the weekends. And if somebody would come, to him, people would come you know, to the temple person, they come and pose very different, very various kind of issues and conflicts. So temple person has to deal with many conflict resolution related topics. They're always resolving conflicts among the you know devotees. And Srila Prabhupada said that when there will be utensils, those utensils when used, they will clank against each other, they will make noise. This is a normal behavior of this material world. So of course there will be conflict when people are interacting. So they would come to the temple president, they would complain and he would say, you know, till Thursday, you know, as something would, someone would come, he would say, why don't you come, you know, next Monday. And it's very interesting that over the weekend, the problem will solve themselves. <laughs> so that is the glories of Sankirtan. So people would be able to go past, you know, and learn from their own life. And by the mercy of Lord Shri Krishna, by the mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, congregational chanting, Sankirtan, Yajna is all purifying. So when we engage in Shavanam, hearing about the name form activities, pastimes of Lord Shri Krishna, then all kind of tushti, all happens, all kind of uh, sweetness surrounds us, all kind of pleasure, potency surround us, all kind of blessings we get and all these anarthas you know not wanted things unwanted things they are like the birds that fly away so it is also said that when we are in kirtan we should clap because it with the hearing of clap in the rhythm with the sankirtan all these anarthas they are like birds they fly away so that is the effect and so that should be the mood and we should Whenever we get chance, Shri Prabhupada used to say, even between morsels when you are eating, you are eating, we should chant the holy name. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. So such wonderful transcendental knowledge Lord Krishna is covering. He is covering the 20 topics, you know, the subject matters of knowledge. And So we are on number 15 and 16, that he is saying, unalloyed devotion service unto me mai cha ananya bhak yogena right so we should engage in his unalloyed devotional service unto Lord Krishna then comes 17 bhakti avya bichalani without break what should we do vivikta desha sevittvam sevittvam which is aspiring to be at a solitary place what does he mean solitary place means to go to a jungle no 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 basically he is saying where we don't get attracted by the sense object. You cannot just sit in the middle of a mall and all kind of people walking around you because there's so many attractions. Like Vishwamitra, he got bewildered by Menaka. So we have to be aspiring for a place where there is less attraction for the senses. We should be, that's why temple is called transcendental to this material nature. Temple place, even if it's in a city, city is a place of passion. and uh, It's in the mode of passion. And the town is in the, means again, the jungle, a forest in the mode of goodness. But temple, again, is above the three modes, above even the mode of goodness and pure goodness. So that's why we should be at a temple. And if we can't go to the temple, we should have a temple at our home. We should have a room, especially the most important, prominent room in the house should be used. Sometimes we see people, you know, they put in a corner room that they never visit. They put a lost ship, they set up in a cupboard. So instead of doing that, we should give the best room for the service of Lordship so that we cross that room again and again, we remember Lord Krishna again and again, we constantly sing His glories again and again, we want to be around Him again and again. So that's how we become devotees, right? We, we rise quickly. And Artir Jana Samsadi, so detachment from the general populace. So the, here the warning is given, this is the 18th one, which is developed detachment 
or the general samsadi, the general populace, because general populace is seeking sense gratification, they are constantly engaged in all kind of mundane subject matters, so we don't want to be engaged in those subject matters, otherwise devotee association is that's why very much paramount, otherwise we get pulled in with all these talks and sooner or later we'll get distracted. So we should hear from the mouths of the devotees, we should hear about the name form activities, pastimes of Lord Shri Krishna, that will help us. And then Adhyatma Jnana Nityatvam, that is the 19th verse, which is accepting of self-realization. Jivera Sarupoya Krishna Nityatvam. So it's not that we know it, we also have to accept it, so that when we do, we do things aligned to this nature of our Swarup, right? That's what means that this is the very nature we are in, not the material nature, which is to be all constantly engaged in devotional service of Lord Shri Krishna. And then last but not the least is Tattva Jnana Tadarshanam. We should do a philosophical search of the absolute truth. We should, you know, hear from the authorities, we should hear from the devotees, we should read Bhagavad Gita, we should read Srimad Bhagavatam, we should read Chaitanya Chaitavita, we should sing and we should call out to the Lordship that my dear Lord, I am at your shelter, please help me attain you the absolute truth. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. So, etas jnana miti proktam, Lord Krishna says, all these are declared to be knowledge, Agyanam yad ato anyatha, and whatever is beside this is ignorance. So that's why I was saying that in this material world, whatever we get is actually information. It is information and then it gets deformed in due course of time. So we should be able to make a distinguish what is knowledge and what is information. In material schools, what we get is information. We don't really get knowledge. This is knowledge. Actually, many of the aspects that the teachers makes us proud, make, makes us hard at heart. That is very bad for our spiritual growth. So we should understand and align ourselves based on what is knowledge and what is not knowledge. Then we'll be yayam, then we'll be the knower. So uh, then Lord Krishna, after he's describing the different uh, knowledge of the field and the knower of the field, he explains the process of knowledge, which is E for in heart. For explaining, then uh, Lord Krishna, he continues to uh, describe various aspects. So there's some stories, but we are falling short. So we want to cover the lessons today and we'll cover the stories at other times. There are wonderful stories I wanted to cover, but this, this chapter is so much filled with so much secret, so much value that we can you know, t use. In heart, A is for the apart beings, right? The knowers, right, of the field, Gayam as well as the one who is Purusha. So there is Purusha and Param Purusha. The soul and the super soul, they are apart. So that's the object of knowledge. We should understand. And, you know, we living entities are in this body, yet at the same time, the super soul is the one who is the overseer and permitter, and he is allowing everything to happen because he is the permitter. He is constantly seeing us, and we'll hear in chapter 15 onward that how they are in this material world, which is like a tree, there are two birds. One is the super soul and one is the jiva, we, the living entity. And we are going from one branch to another and tasting various kinds of fruits. And these fruits are nothing but happiness and distress. I don't want to go too much ahead, but just to give you a glimpse. So we are the one who cause all these factors. So sun is far, yet it still illuminates the whole universe. So similarly, Supreme Personality of Godhead, Lord Shri Krishna, he is in Goloka, right? Yet at the same time, he accepts when we offer something with love, you know, and because he can be anywhere and everywhere. So he is omnipotent, omniscient. So he is everywhere, yet at the same time, he never steps out of Vrindavan, as Acharyas explained. He expands as his plenary expansion and portions of plenary expansions, and so he accepts our offerings. And we can transcend the duality as realizing this eternal subordination to Lord Shri Krishna, that we are His servants, eternal servant. And so we can attain the supreme destination once we purify our very existence. Then in heart, R is for reality. It's showing us that how, you know, Prakriti and the soul, the material energy and the soul, their interaction, 
that actually the soul is in the body, it is not of the body. So we are in this material universe, not of this material universe. So that needs to be understood. And some people understand it using Karma Yoga, as we discussed in the third and fifth chapter. Some understand using Dhyana Yoga, as we understand in chapter seven or chapter six. And then some understand with the Jnana Yoga as in chapter seven. So the soul, the reason we are in this material world is because of our rebellious nature. We are adverse towards Lord Shri Krishna. We want to enjoy everything. Think we become jealous and that's why we get this material body. And this is what causes our conditioning. And Maya, is, again Maya Devi, she is carrying out a thankless service. She is providing us what we are asking. Yet at the same time we are the one who some, always tend to blame Maya Devi, right? We say that, oh, she is uh, Dukhale Amashashvatam. She is, uh, you know, temporary and a place of misery. But it is actually us who is causing all this. And that's revealed in text 21. Karya karana kartatve hetu prakriti uchyate purusha sukha dukha nam bhoktatve hetur uchyate. So nature is said to be the cause of all material causes and effects. So nature provides 8.4 billion, you know, species of bodies. So riyantra rurhani maya. So we are, you know, riding on these machines provided to us by material energy and they come in 8.4 million forms. And all these forms, when we take on these bodies, then we are automatically conditioned because of trying to enjoy our material nature. We get conditioned, so we have to follow the law of nature. So when a living entity is in the body of a dog, then it has to behave like dog. When it's in the body of a cat, it has to behave like cat because that's what its consciousness is. And even though the consciousness spreads throughout the body, which is the symptom of the soul, right? The presence of soul is, that is the heart of the body, but at the same time, the consciousness is the symptom. Effect is the consciousness, that the body is conscious and it goes through six kind of changes. Nature on its own is jada, it cannot go through any transformation, but it's the presence of soul in the body that causes it to you know, go through this transformation. So a body takes birth, it grows for some time, it maintains, it stays stable for some time, then it creates progeny. Then it dwindles, go, goes to the phase of old age, and then finally it dies. So these six changes are of the body, but it's caused by the presence of the soul. That is important to understand. And so the 8.4 million souls are there, uh, the bodies are there, sorry, 8.4 billion types of bodies, the species are there, which have been provided by material energy. But who is asking for those? Yam yam vapi smaran bhavam tajantan takalevram. So again, we learned in 8th chapter, the 6th verse. Whatever one thinks at the time of the death, at the last moment of life, that destination, the mind will take it. So we are the ones who are desiring for a specific kind of pleasure. So mind is just carrying out, you know, that desire and fulfilling that desire by giving us a body through material energy. Mind is also part of material energy, the subtle energy. And it's getting us that body so we can have that sense pleasure. But all the pleasure and pains, happiness and distress, hot and cold, all these conditions are caused by who? Us living entities. We have to take the responsibility, right? Sometimes people, they just blame others. We have the tendency of blaming others. You know, pandemic happened. Chinese did it. They are also human beings. They are just going through. And this is nature being conditioned. What can we do? How can we enable this world to become a better place. And Srila Prabhupada said that only if 2% of the living entities of the human beings, if they become Krishna conscious, the whole planet Earth will become Vakuntha. So it starts with us. Are we Krishna conscious? If we are not, then we should work on ourselves. It's an introspection. The whole Bhagavad Gita is actually a human manual. It's a manual for us to become perfect, to spiritualize this very material body to spiritualize our consciousness, to spiritualize our very being, to spiritualize our mind. We yesterday talked about uh, in the story of Devashi Narad, how he had developed spiritual memory, how he had developed spiritual consciousness and spiritualized his very existence, even when he had a material body of a Shudra boy, son of a maid servant. And he was just five years old. At that time, as a five-year-old boy, he was able to meditate and engage in devotional service and he constantly would go out chanting the glories of Lord Shri Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, 
Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. So that should be our true motive. Instead of saying Anityam Sukham Loke, that this place is, you know, place of misery, it is temporary, you know, it's Anityam, it is constantly changing. So actually, Lord Krishna reveals that living entity, material energy, both are eternal in nature. But material energy goes to transformation and because of living entity it goes to transformation. On its own it doesn't have any capability of transforming into any other form. It is the presence of living entity. So in this material world, whatever we see, he is saying to Arjun, is because of the combination of material living entity in the body. Yet he is also saying that one who understands this through karma yoga, through jnana yoga, through dhyana yoga, various processes can, you know, rise above the platform and take to devotional service and finally become pure. And he is also telling the 26th verse that even those, although not conversant in the spiritual knowledge, who do not understand the knowledge of the Adhatma Gyan, those who do not understand, you know, or who start worshipping the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Puri knowledge ke bina bhi wo log Bhagwan Krishna ke puja mein lag jate hai, unka devotion service, unko bhaj govindam, bhaj govindam, govindam, bhaj bhulamate. So wo Bhagwan Krishna ke aradhna karne lagte hai, Bhagwan Krishna ke bhakti mein lean ho jate hai, by hearing about it from others, right? So when the you know, even people, when they hear about Lord Krishna, His glories, that He is the Supreme Personality of Godhead, that also itself is a perfection state when you understand and engage yourself in satisfying Lord Krishna. Wo bhi, just by hearing, can transcend the path of birth and death. Wo is jivan sagar se, bhav sagar se, tar jate hai. And this can the 28th verse, jo hai, it is very much in line with 5.18 verse, jaha amne bula tha, samadarshina. Vidya Vinaya Sampanne Brahmane Gavi Hastidin Shuni Chayavashwa Pakecha Pandita Samadarshina So, jo Vidya Vinaya Sampanne, jo usko proper knowledge hai, aisa person kya dekhta hai? Brahmane Gavi Hastini, wo ek Brahman ko, wo ek Gaya ko Gavi, a Hastini ek Hathi ko, Shuni Chayavashwa Pakecha, ek dog ko, ek dog ita, chandal ko, equal vision se dekhta hai, Pandita Samadarshina, Pandita means who is knower, who knows things as they are, he looks at them with equal vision. Why? Because he understands that everyone has super soul in their heart and they are very dear to Lord Shri Krishna. They are very dear. So Lord Krishna, he accompanies us just like an affectionate father who accompanies us. So we should understand this knowledge and then we should engage accordingly. And we should be having loving dealings with every living entity, not just with our family members, not just with the strangers on the street, but also with animals, with you know, plants, grass, everything around us, everything is actually allowing us an opportunity for a relationship and it should be a happy relationship. And finally, we come to the T in heart, which is to understand true vision, jnana chakshusha. So we should understand that the vision of knowledge is that we understand that the body is different and the owner of the body is different, the soul and the super soul, who is the friend of this soul, who is the father of this soul, right? He is different. So these three are different entities and we are actually energy. The material energy is also energy. Lord's internal potency, Radharani is also energy and he is the Shakti Man, he is the potent. So we are the potencies and he is all potent, supreme personality of Godhead. Jobi is process ko realize ka leta hai, he attains liberation in this life itself and can attain the supreme goal at the end of this life. So that has been revealed here. So one nice example is given is that just like Akash, you know, even though it is situated, it is the largest object, it does not mix with everything, even though it is pervading. So anything that has an object, you know, with a shape and a size, Akash, the sky is there. Srila Prabhupada used the example of air because people cannot understand ether or Akash. He used said that air does not mix with anything. It becomes a carrier of fragrance, but on its own it doesn't mix with anything. So similarly, even though the soul is in the body, it does not mix with the body. It is distinct from the body. And the soul illuminates the body, right, with consciousness. We talked about that. And sun, just like sun has sunshine and it spreads sunshine to all the universe, similarly the soul is, it spreads consciousness in, across the whole body. We have also talked about 
that is a, and there is also an example Srila Prabhupada talked about the Prakriti. So again, we looked at it from five lessons that we learned, heart, H-E-A-R-T. H refers to hidden aspect, super soul in the heart and the soul both are the owners but super soul is the true owner. We are like the renter or the Paramatma. citizen, yeah, Paramatma, super soul. He is the true enjoyer, even though we act as enjoyer. But in reality, he is the true enjoyer. And uh, then E is, Lord Krishna explains the knowledge, the 20 subject matters of the knowledge that we covered. So that is the true knowledge. And what we get at college or university is more of information that changes, you know, as we grow to the professional field. And many of the, much of the information, we lose it because we don't apply it. But rather devotional service is knowledge that when we apply it, it enhances our life, it spiritualizes us. Then Lord Krishna explains the knowledge. After that, uh, D, uh, actually, A in a heart is, we understand that they are the knowers of the body, the owners of the body, the enjoyers are of two types. They are part the living entity and Paramatma, the super soul. We, the jivas and the super soul, they are apart. And then R stands for reality, which shows us the orchestration as how living entity is in this body and the super soul is overseer and permitter and how we are in carrying out various activities but it, we are the cause of all the happiness and distress the material energy is only providing various 8.4 million types of bodies and both are eternal in nature actually all three the material nature the living entity and the super soul all are eternal in, in nature and Last but not the least is the true vision who understands that all three are different and understands our relationship with Lord Shri Krishna, engages, you know, whatever is given to us in the service of Lord Shri Krishna, attains perfection and it is the living entity which has the choice, which has the responsibility and to be able to situate itself in its right uh, relationship. Now, one of the very interesting aspects that I normally say is that we are the ones who are giving ourselves time out from the spiritual realization, right? So we have to understand that we have to be in harmony. I normally say that harmony is the true money. Why? Because when we are in harmony with the Supreme, then we are in harmony with everyone in the universe. And when we are in harmony with everyone, then we are actually in perfect harmony with the Brahman stage and we rise to that Brahman stage so we can attain spiritual. Yet at the same time, you know, people, they don't understand that harmony is the true money. So they run after money, which is Lakshmi. And she is Hari money. So again, she is Lord Hari's money. So she belongs to, in the service of Lord Krishna. So Lakshmi is constantly engaged in service of Lord Vishnu. She is constantly Pada Sevana, constantly serving his lotus feet. Yet at the same time, people who try to go after Lakshmi with this thought that they want to enjoy this material world, they are acting like Raman, they don't realize. So we should understand that we should only be making effort to sustain our body, but engage our body in serving Lord Shri Krishna. So that's the true lesson and we can take this lesson to our heart, right? H-E-A-R-T, the five lessons that we learn in this chapter and make our life sublime, make our existence spiritual and the whole program in Krishna consciousness is to spiritualize our very being, our very body, our very consciousness, our very intelligence, our very memory. So everything can be spiritualized by engaging in devotion service which simply starts with the chanting of the holy name. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna dear devotees. Shrimad Bhagavad Gita ki jai, Srila Prabhupada ki jai, Srila Bhagavad Pad ki jai, Dant Kodi Vaishnam Vind ki jai, Nitai Go Premanande, Hari Hari Bol, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, uh, we appreciate all the devotees, all the friends who are still joining and um, Sham Sundar, Hare Krishna, Partha Bhaumik, Ajay Kumar, Jai Shri Banik, Shraddha Chari, Prakash Barajia, Arjun Das, Umang Goyal, Hare Krishna, Gungun Samani, Indra Mohan, Veera Jhun, Dheeraj Kumar, Sham Patel, Hari Bol, Partha Day, Mahant Morkar, Devanaji, Surya, Sri Ram Erle, Saraswati, Hare Krishna, 
कोला बादल रॉय तारा शर्मा नीता शाह रजत ब्रता सरकार हरी बोल मोनक गुप्ता बपाना बाबा जी महंत मुरजाकर महंत अमित पांड्या चुमी चुमकी रॉय पली साधन पाल हरी बोल आप सबका अभिनंदन आप सबको बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद और इस वक्त आप सभी ने भक्ति में एंगेज किया है बाय श्रवणम बाय लिसनिंग टू द सॉन्ग ऑफ गॉड भगवान की टीचिंग सुनकर सो हैव ए वंडरफुल इवनिंग हैव वंडरफुल डे इन कृष्णा कॉन्शियसनेस हरे कृष्णा